Yo, what is going on you guys? It is Deloney here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to download shaders on Minecraft Bedrock Edition also known as like the Xbox One Edition. Um, now a lot of you guys were wondering how to get shaders. Uh, a lot of you guys were commenting in my first Minecraft episode so I decided to make the tutorial on how to because you know I just want to help you guys out. And honestly, Shaders is such a great um, resource pack on the game. So now you can't actually buy it off of the Bedrock Edition. You have to physically download it onto your console. And you do not need a computer for this. All you need is your Xbox, okay? This works on the normal Xbox, Xbox One S, Xbox One X. Any Xbox, guys, as long as you have the Xbox One, all you need is the Xbox One and that it. That's it. Obviously, Minecraft as well. But um, yeah, that's all you need, guys. So I'll show you guys what you need to do first, okay? Now before you do anything, what you guys want to do is go to settings, right? So go to settings. Go to display and sound. Go to video output. Click on video fidelity, fidelity and overscan. And then you want to make sure that this box right here is unchecked. Apps can add a border. You want to make sure that there's no check mark in it, okay? This is very important. Make sure you guys do this right at the start. And make sure you guys watch this video through all the way because there's a lot of steps to this. And if you miss a step, this could mess it up easily. So just quickly, you know, do this at the start. Make sure this box is unchecked. Once you do that, guys, you want to download uh, three apps, okay? Those, those three apps are not too hard to get. You just got to go on the store and download them or search them and download them. I'll show you guys which one right now. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's File Explorer, UFO Transfer, and File Downloader that you need. So once you have all those three, you can start off with this. And what you're going to want to do is go over to Microsoft Edge, which should already be downloaded on your console. If you, if somehow you don't have it, just download it. You know, it's going to be on the store. But uh, yeah, Microsoft Edge, guys, you're going to go there. And you're going to have to type something in the chat, like in the uh, top bar. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Choke a pick. Now this exact thing, okay? You see this? I don't know why there's keeps being things popping up. Okay, so this exact thing, you see www.mediafire.com slash file. You need to type all those numbers until it says until it goes to the zip slash file. All of that. You need to type all that, it'll bring you to this site right here. Now you see there's a download button, right? You're not gonna actually click on the download button. But instead, what you guys are going to do is head over to the download, so hover over it, click the start button, which is the three lines on your controller, and go over to copy link. So make sure you do copy link, okay? There you go. And once you copy link, you're done for that step. What you're going to do now is start the file downloader. So we're going to go over to our apps here and go to file downloader. Now it honestly isn't that long to do this, but it might take a bit longer just because I'm explaining it slowly. But once you guys get the hang of it, you can download many different you know things on your Xbox. It's uh, very easy to get things on Minecraft. Yeah, I'm sure it even works with skins and all that. <clears throat> but once you get there guys, you're gonna click on the three lines over here. Um, you're gonna click from URL then you're gonna see local storage, right? You're gonna click on local storage. And you're gonna paste the URL. You see source URL right here? You're gonna wanna paste the URL here. By doing that, you click in there or you hover over it like this. Click the uh, three buttons again, the three lines there, the start button, and then click paste. And there you go. It's gonna pop up right over there. Now what you're going to want to do is click start on the bottom here. There's going to be a, like a start button right on the bottom. You're going to click A on that. Okay, so after you clicked that, guys, you're going to go click on the file downloader here. You're going to click on the three lines right on the top there. And what you're going to want to do now is go to storage. Then click on local storage right over here. And then you're going to see local storage right here. Now what you're going to want to do is actually type in... Uh, Choka pick shader. So right in this bar right here, you're gonna click Choka 
pick and then space shade whoops uh, whoops yeah if you screw up guys it'll do that here let me just go back here you can screw it up but yeah you're gonna click show choke uh, pick she der. now once you do that what you're gonna do is click on the three lines right here and click on new folder now you can see I already have a folder with this name so but that's what you guys are gonna do and it's gonna make a folder right here like I already have because I already obviously have shaders right but you guys are gonna do that click it here type it there go over here and click new folder and it should make the new folder and name it as Chocopic um, shader so that's perfect okay guys so once you made the Chocopic shader file or um, yeah the file what you're gonna do is click on the Chocopic version 1.0 zip you're gonna click on that it's gonna bring you in here right there's gonna be an option that pops up this if you click on the three lines you can see what they all mean um, it's gonna mean toggle all so you're gonna click on the toggle all you're, you're gonna see that it basically you know copies it all or check marks them all now what you're gonna do here is click on this one now what this one does is copies it so yeah you're just gonna copy all of that and there you go you just gotta click it once and it should copy it what you're gonna do now is click B and click on the folder that you made here the choke pick shader click on that and what you're gonna do now is click on paste now I'm not gonna click paste I already have everything in there but what you guys are gonna do is click on paste okay and yeah after you click on paste that's good for now you're good for this and you can now go over to the next app which is ufo.transfer so if we go over to apps here we're gonna go over to ufo transfer now remember what I said at the beginning there make sure that box is unchecked now if you had the box checked you wouldn't have this icon right here you wouldn't have the settings like uh, bar right here that's why guys you gotta if you still haven't unchecked it make sure you uncheck it now don't worry it's not too late but if you're following along make sure you uncheck it and this should pop up once you start up UFO transfer but if you do have it you're simply just gonna click on this okay boom what you're gonna do now is click on the open in file explorer and it basically launches the file explorer app that you downloaded so you're losing you're using all three apps it's it's really weird how we were using them but trust me guys we have to go through it but uh, what we're gonna do now is you're gonna see on the top here there's a bunch of like options you're gonna click on packages and you're gonna scroll down until you see megascopes.universal you're gonna see something like this you're gonna click on that file you're gonna go over to local state then you're gonna see your your thing that you made right the choke pick shader now we're gonna, what you're gonna do here is click start so click the button with the three lines click the start on your thing while you're hovering over it and click on copy so make sure you click copy once you did that you're gonna go back on the top here where it says packages and if you scroll down enough you're gonna see Microsoft dot Minecraft UWP now I don't know if I actually passed it did I pass it I think I passed it let's go back up here um, okay let's start from the top mine uh, Microsoft dot Minecraft there it is okay so Microsoft dot Minecraft UWP console you're gonna click a on that I'm gonna click on local state. You're gonna click on games. You're gonna click on com.mojang. And what you're gonna do in here is you see that I have a thing that says resource underscore packs. Now you guys may not have this, okay? If you guys don't have this, what you're simply gonna do is just click on these lines just to see how to do stuff. And you're gonna click on new folder. So you see new folder here? Click on new folder. And you have to make sure you name the folder exactly how I did. R E S O U R C E underscore P A C K S all lowercase and then click OK once you typed it just because it will mess up 
it'll just mess this step up. So you gotta make sure you type it exactly the same. Make the folder resource packs. Now once you did that guys, what you're gonna do is click A on the resource packs folder. And you're gonna see that I already have Chocopic shader in here, but you guys will not have it. So what you're gonna do is go over here to the three lines and click where it says paste. Okay, you should see paste. You're just gonna click on paste and it should basically put the Chocopic shader folder in there. And once you did that, you are done. You have successfully downloaded or just put the uh, shader thing on your Minecraft. So we're going to go to the home here and you can now, or no, let's just load up Minecraft. Boom. So yeah, now you can load up your Minecraft guys and you're going to see, you're going to see that you have the shaders. I'll show you guys how to actually put it on because some of you may no, like you may you may have followed the steps so far and you're probably wondering like well where how do i what do i do now how do i actually put it on my world i'll show you how to do that guys right now it's really not that hard there's uh literally like there's no more steps to do you just got to do one little um thing to put on your world in the settings i'll show you guys right now as this is loading up now as you're loading your world up also it may take a bit of time because it's actually loading the uh, the resource pack that you just downloaded so just give it some time guys um, it's really shouldn't be that bad so we're just gonna wait here as it loads up shouldn't be too long for me since I already did download it I also haven't been on Minecraft in a while I don't know if there's new updates or whatever this may take a few moments but 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 you got like the the villager the pillagers in the background attacking the freaking farmer there we go so we're on the main menu we're gonna click on play and you just want to choose the world this is my let's play but yeah you just want to choose the world oh we gotta wait here oh my god loading resource packs wow wow okay there we go so you want to choose the world right obviously the world that you play on that you want the, the actual shaders on so we're just gonna choose uh, this one right here we're going to click on the pencil to the right of it. That's like how you edit and stuff. You're going to scroll down here. You're going to see add-ons and resource packs. You're going to go to the right here once you see resource packs. And you're just going to scroll down. And you're going to see you have Chocopic Shaders V1.0. That's what you just downloaded. Now you have it on the game. You're going to click on that. Click on the plus, And boom. Just like that, guys. You have it on your active packs. It's now in your game. So now if we load into it, right, we're going to press play. It should change, right? It should change. I was using the normal texture pack of Minecraft before, but now it should actually change to be um, the shaders. Now, yeah, it's going to save. It's going to probably load some stuff. It might take extra time, like I said before. But trust me, guys, it is totally worth it, okay? I totally recommend you guys actually get shaders. It's so nice. It makes the world... It makes, like, the... The clouds look realistic, it makes the sun look realistic, the moon, the sky, like just everything, um, the lighting, it's so nice. So we're going to test it out. This is our old world actually that I haven't played on in so long. But uh, wow, look at that. You see the sky, the moon, look at that, the, um, the stars, well the stars are like the same. But you see the lighting, the lighting is a little bit different, the wood has a little bit of a different texture. Um, yeah, the lighting's really nice. And uh, yeah, like you can tell the lighting. You see how it's more of a like a black and white feel when it's nighttime. It it's it adds nice, you know. Like when you take away a torch, it'll go kind of like a black and white ish. And when you put the torch, it'll go um, it'll it'll add some color. That's when it's nighttime and stuff. Now it doesn't actually really change the texture pack, but it does change the lighting. It's more of like a lighting. That's that's what it says in the thing, you know, shaders. But uh, yeah, you know, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys are impressed with this uh, with this resource pack. Obviously, I myself didn't make the shaders. Um, if I did, I'd probably be rich by now because so many people downloaded it and use it. Even so many YouTubers use it. But yeah, guys, I if you did enjoy, please slap that like button. If you want more videos and tutorials like this, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section. Um, subscribe if you're new, guys. It would be very much appreciated if you subscribe. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get to that 10K mark. It would be very much appreciated if you help me get there. Um, but yeah, turn on the bell, guys, so you do not miss out on any of these type of videos. 
And uh, yeah, guys, that's been the video, and I'm out. Peace.